Alright, whatever. Alright, hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Twitch Solves ISL! Where I get to get random problems thrown at me and try to solve them with varying amounts of success. Uh, so today we have a problem from the Christmas AMO. So this is a student run competition. You can find it on... Uh, what's the website for it? Does anyone know? Uh, Eric Shenton slash CFC. So if you want to f see where this comes from, um, why isn't it working? Ah, no, no, stop. There, yeah, that thing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so today's problem goes, let f of x equals x squared minus 2. Uh, prove that for all positive integers n, the iterate f composed n times minus x is not irreducible. I'm not even gonna bother. It, it, this just says not irreducible, okay? Oh wait, actually no, it doesn't. It says, is can be factored into two polynomials with equal degree. So this is not just some standard irreducibility thing. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> doing the intro should be a V-Bucks reward? That's not a bad idea. So x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to just x minus 2x plus 1. And... Uh... Oh my god. Are you trying to redeem the- No, I'm about to do the outbreak now. We'll do it after the problem. <laughs> Alright, so... What happens if I iterate it twice? This seems like it requires me to do some calculation. Uh, Alright, so x to the 4 minus 4x squared plus 4 minus x. Okay, so this does not have any linear roots, I believe. No, it has x equals 2 as a root. Oh, x equal, is x equals 2 always a root? Yeah, x equals 2 is always a root. That, that seems like it's useful to know. Is negative 1 always a root? Uh, minus 1 squared. 1, minus 1. Minus 1, one. Yeah, okay, so we already have two fixed points. Like x equals minus 1, x equals plus 2. Are always roots and so I don't even care what the other factor is that just kind of works here uh, but at this point we're gonna do the thing that I have yeah cosine cosine the reason I recognize this right away is because we've done this on stream a few times before we're gonna let x equals 2 cosine z and then what happens is p of x is equal to Cosine. Let's see. So when I iterate f, it takes 2 cosine z to 2 cosine 2z. I believe that's what happens. So we get like 2 to the cosine, 2 to the n z minus cosine z. This is what's happening. Okay. Now, this has, so actually, this will, this will tell us what a bunch of the roots are. Is that true? Oh, sorry, this is minus 2 cosine z. The, the 2 is everywhere. So, when like for z equals, if z is like, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what are the roots of this? So if for z equals 0 it has roots at z equals 0, z equals... How do you get minus 1? Is it like... Uh, 
minus 120 degrees is always a root, or just 120 degrees, yeah. So I feel like we should just be able to identify a bunch of roots. Um, <sighs> that was very annoying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... One hundred twenty degrees, two hundred forty... <sighs> is, is that it? There, there's, there's some set of roots here. Um, to the n minus one... In general... The polynomial should just have degree 2 to the n, right? Yeah. Did I say n? Sorry, I meant 2 to the n. <sighs> so we find roots at uh, these things for k equals any integer k. Sum to product should tell you the roots. Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's do that. Uh, so sum to product is something I never remember uh, that, that is okay that is both hilarious and like depressing but okay in order to solve cosine 2 to the nth equals cosine z we will use sum to product formula and this is true if and only if uh, uh, anyone know what this is because I, I sure don't <laughs> to the end. Actually, it, I think it should tell us the same thing that the, the thing did. Sine of 2 to the n minus 1 and sine of 2 to the n plus 1, right? It has to be that. Alright, yeah. What, what a good way to deal with that. Oh, that, that, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's pretty good. Alright, so... So, sum to product gives us this, and thank you, Corella777, for the host. Alright. Okay, so what do I do with this? Um, Okay, it's it. so am I missing any roots? I guess that's the question. There's like 2 to the n minus 1 here, and 2 to the n roots... Plus, hang on. No, that's not, that's not true. Did I mess up the thumb to product? Oh, is there like a factor of over 2 I'm missing? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. These should, these should all say Z over 2 and not Z. I think, maybe? Yeah, yeah, it should be Z halves. <laughs> yeah, so I need some help counting how many roots I have received have computed um to the n minus one thank you dot calculator for the one bit I think that's all of them right I don't I don't think we're missing any this is all of these, and I think we get all 2 to the n. The reason you're all by a factor of 2 is because some of the cosines pair up. Can you express those two factors as polynomials in x? Because they may be equal degree. Uh, that seems likely. Yeah, 
Yeah, so like... The minimal polynomial... So... Uh, of... Cosine of... 2 pi over... 2 to the n minus 1. Yeah, it, sh it should be this. When I go up, let's make it. Oh, it doesn't even need to be minimal. Um, like, there's a polynomial whose roots are. Um, yeah, like, basically, I need to. Uh, Put the. I just need to put them together, I think, right? Like, so there's. There's two to the n minus one, minus one numbers of form this thing for k equals zero through. Well, let's say k equals 1 through to the n minus 1, minus 1. And there's 2 to the n minus 1, minus 1. And then there's a single linear factor, linear fact, like... Let, let me label these as roots. Roots of x equals zero. Or root of two cos zero. That's like, yeah. So the claim should be that these two, you can put together to make an integer polynomial and that all of these guys together form an integer polynomial. I think that should be how this boils down. And that's, I think it should just be true. Why is that true? Uh. Let's just be true. So if zeta is a, like two to the n minus first root of unity, it's the root of a cyclotomic polynomial. And zeta plus zeta inverse is equal to 2 cos frac 2 pi k over 2 n minus 1. And now the product across a polynomial t minus zeta to the k plus zeta to the minus k across those values of k should do it. Because when you expand, you'll get a symmetric polynomial in the zetas. And because the zetas are roots of the into already integer coefficient. Yeah. So this will just work. Like when you expand this up from K from one through here, you will, yeah, you'll necessarily get an integer polynomial. Actually, you don't need cyclotomy because I'm not even using primitives. Sorry. It's the root. Yeah. I, it's the root of like T to the two n minus 1. I think the only thing you have to do is take out the t equals 1 root because that's the one that's different. Yeah, but this is a polynomial with integer coefficients. The coefficients are actually all equal to 1. And then 
when I do a multiplication and do an expansion, you know, life is good. f of x plus 1 over x equals x plus 1 over x squared. I agree. That's equivalent to the cosine thing, right? What you do is you let x equals uh, cosine i theta. If you let x equals cosine i theta, then x plus 1 over x is 2 cosine theta. So things that do like... Yeah, like, if I let z equals cos theta... I'll, I'll write this out for people who haven't seen it, because this is actually quite important. If let z equals e to the i theta, which is cosine theta plus i sine theta, then z plus 1 over z is equal to cosine twice cosine theta. So whenever you see like things of the form x plus 1 over x, you can usually translate them to like trick type things and vice versa. Um, here the explicit thing is I use cosines, but I could also have written z plus 1 over z instead. And it's like the same thing. Okay, calling this done. I'm a little surprised. I feel like I should know what this polynomial is, but I actually can't tell offhand. I feel like I should know what this expands to, and I, I actually don't know. Uh, it might be like the other type of Chebyshev polynomial? Shrug. All right, cool. So we have a bunch of ad breaks. Um, so, oh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thanks for coming by. You don't have to watch the ad breaks. You're welcome. Uh, for everyone else on Twitch, there we go. <laughs>